All right, what is going on guys and welcome to a new Apex Legends video, man. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be going over the best legends from worst to best, the tier list for Apex Legends for all the characters in the game, man. Uh, and let me know if you guys agree with everything I say in this video. If you guys don't, make sure to put your own tier list in the comments, guys. I would highly appreciate it. Uh, before the video starts, guys, make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. Over 88% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and watch my content regularly. So make sure you guys do drop a sub, man. I would highly appreciate it. We're approaching 12,000 subscribers, man. And I would highly appreciate it if you could, you know, take a second and hit that sub button. But without further ado, let's get right into it. The first legend we're going to be ranking, guys, is Bloodhound. Uh, in my opinion, man, he's a lot better after the most recent buff to him. But he's still not meta. He's still not the greatest. Nobody really uses him in ranked. Uh, you'll see him in pubs here and there. But he's just not that popular overall. And it's just because his abilities don't do much for the team. It's more for him. And honestly, his ultimate makes it so it's really hard to aim for me, in my opinion. Uh, the FOV, man. It just Why would it increase your FOV? I feel like if his ultimate only make it so you are faster and your screen goes black and white uh, instead of... Uh, upping your fov the the whole fov thing is stupid in my opinion it will literally mess with your sensitivity and aim and i just i'm not a fan of it so for that bloodhound goes into c tier he's not quite a d tier but he's he's not that good either so c tier is appropriate for him in my opinion and we have bangalore bangalore is really really good but she's not meta either nobody really uses her in competitive some people will but it's like, a, you know, a one out of 10 person uses Bangalore. So Bangalore, in my opinion, her abilities are really, really good. The smoke grenades, her passive, the ultimate is not that great. It's pretty good to back off, but uh, it's just not that great of an ability overall. Not that great of an ultimate, you know, for how long it takes to load. It's not that fire, in my opinion. For that, she gets a B tier for Bangalore. Then we have Caustic. Caustic is actually really, really good. Uh, really annoying as well. If you guys play Apex Legends as much as I do, Caustic can really get on your nerves, man. Uh, his gas is just super annoying, super obnoxious as, as well because it stays there for so long and people can just camp, revive their whole team without you being able to do anything about it if you're not, uh, Caustic. So it's, I don't know, man. Caustic is really, really good, but at the same time, he's not meta either. Some people use him, but it's very rare. Uh, I will put him in A, though, because he's really good and really annoying to other players. So I think he deserves to be an A tier. Then Gibraltar. Uh, Gibraltar has really, really good abilities. All his abilities are amazing. His uh, passive fortified, which gives him more health. And his gun shield, it's just he really, has really good abilities. But overall, his hitbox makes it so a lot of people still don't use him. It, it's actually crazy. The fact that he has like 300 plus HP with purple shield. Uh, and his gun shield, and people still don't use him that much. It's really just because of his hitbox. It's so easy to laser him, regardless of his health, that people are not really, you know, inclined to use him. But, uh, if we're talking straight up abilities and stuff like that, he's a really, really good legend. So for that, he's going to be in a B tier. For me, he's better than Bloodhound. That's just my personal opinion. But, uh, Gibraltar is better than Bloodhound in my book. Uh, then we have, uh, Lifeline, which is a really, really good character. Not meta for competitive, but really good character, and she gets an A tier. 100%, the healing abilities, the, the fast heal for your uh, for your teammates, it's just, it's amazing. She pretty much gets a fast heal backpack, just a little bit worse. And, like, it, her abilities overall are just really, really good. There's nothing really negative about her. The only negative thing is that she's not that good for a team comp in rank, because Pathfinder, Watson, and Wraith is such a great combo. But some people still use her. Some people that don't really like Watson, don't really like whatever Wraith, whatever they don't want to use, uh, they'll use Lifeline. And she's pretty popular for that. But she's not that uh, used in rank, in my opinion. Then we have Mirage, which he's okay. His abilities are a lot better after the buffs. But in my opinion, Mirage is probably the worst legend in the game still. Uh, no hate to any Mirage mains out there, man. You guys do your thing. If you guys enjoy using Mirage, keep using Mirage. But uh, we can't, you know, we can't argue the fact that his abilities are not nearly as useful as any of the other, the other characters above him. Uh, it's just, he, he's kind of just there, but he kind of just does not much. And I don't know, it's just like the decoys, okay, somebody shoots at them, big deal, right? It doesn't really matter. And then his ultimate, as cool as it is to go invisible and just run away, I mean, you can still hear the footsteps, you can still see the ground, uh, the sand and stuff moving. I don't know, it's not... In my opinion, Mirage is really low tier uh, character, but I do enjoy using him for shits and giggles here and there. So he's not that 
you know, he's not, not fun to use. He's just not that good. Then Octane. Octane, in my opinion, uh, probably goes uh, to a B tier. He's really good for aggressive playstyles in pubs, uh, so rushing players and stuff like that. But he's just not that good of a team player. He doesn't really do much for the team, and that's why nobody really uses him in ranked. So that is why he gets a B tier for me. I could have even put him at C, but I think B tier is pretty fair because his abilities are pretty good. He can get away from fights pretty easily if uh, there's other teammates. And uh, I don't know. Overall, he's just a really fast character and really fun to use in public matches to just rush people and body people. Uh, one thing I'll say about him, though, is his Q, his uh, passive or his uh, tactical ability makes it so it's really hard to aim for me, in my opinion. I don't like having the syringe, then having the aim animation different. I don't like that at all. Then we have Pathfinder, guys. Pathfinder is 100% an S tier character. He is meta. Everybody uses him in ranked. It's literally the best mobility in the game. Being able to run away from fights when you have to. Being able to get around the map faster with your team. It's just, it's such a clutch character. It's such a crutch character, to be honest. You, like, you really need him in ranked. If you don't have a Pathfinder, you can't know where the next circle is going to be in ranked. Positioning is everything. Getting uh, early rotation in circle is every, everything. It's just Pathfinder is 100% one of the best legends in the game. And that's just unarguable. You can't argue with that. Now that his hitbox is a little bit bigger and... Um, that his health is reduced a little bit. He's not as good as he used to be, but he's 100% still amazing and a top tier legend. That's just unarguable. Uh, then we have Wraith. Wraith is 100% as well an S tier legend. She is meta as well. The portal is huge to be able to rotate with your team without get getting shot at. Uh, there's a lot of different abilities that... The thing is, what makes P uh, legends S tier in this list compared to making legends D tier is the ability to help your team out. When you look at Mirage and Bloodhound and Octane, and, you know, they're not really team players. They don't really do much for the team. But as you go up, they do more and more for the team, and they're, uh, you know, more and more useful. So in my opinion, man, the, the better a character is for team plays, the better the character is overall. That's just how it is. So Wraith 100% gets that because the portal is great for rotating your team. Uh, obviously, she'll know when she's getting aimed at. She also will... Uh, be able to queue out of fights so uh, go invisible and get out of there you know if your team is still alive it'll be really easy to get out and that's pretty much him and wraith 100 a top tier legend and then last but not least guys we obviously have watson that 100 gets an s tier uh she's just so useful for rank for end game you know uh set up setting up in houses at the end of the game to be able to win the game to be able to have good positioning to other teams she's just one of the best characters for ranked and that's just undeniable if you get into a rank game at least 90 percent of the teams will have a watson on their team and they will be set up and stuff like that so 100 percent watson uh her you know her pylons are really good to force people to not be able to push through doorways and stuff like that because you can hide the little pylons behind the door and it'll be hard to hit them and then the ultimate for blocking grenades the uh passive for the ultimate accelerants to get more ultimates she's just really really good overall and probably the most used uh character in rank so i hope you guys did enjoy this tier list man let me know if you guys agree with it if you guys would move anybody around let me know what you guys thought of it man i hope you guys did enjoy this video overall though make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and turn on notifications if you did and i will catch you beautiful people in the next video peace Oh, <laughs> my